Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. <laughs> um, it's been a long week. It's going to be a nice long weekend for me because luckily um, I'm, I took this afternoon off and I have Monday off for the holiday. Um, so I'm really happy because even though I'm home all the time, I'm constantly working. So it'll just be a nice mental break to, um, <laughs> to not work. Um, but I wanted to come out and make this video. I realized after getting multiple questions on my last video, as well as just regular questions um, regarding like obtaining the doll you want and things like that, that maybe I wasn't completely clear on certain things. So I want to sort of clear up things, but I want to talk more about how important it is to have a good reputation in this doll community. So we have a lot of people that are at all different stages, like collectors are in all different stages of their journey in collecting in this hobby, meaning the length of time that people are collecting varies um, to people just brand new into the community, to people that have been collecting over 20 years. There's a range of where people are at and how much they spend, um, how refined their tastes have gotten as they've grown in the hobby, like there are so many moving parts to trying to obtain the doll you want, trying to, you know, see the doll that you want and get it home. Like there's more of a challenge to getting that perfect doll than one would think. I mean, I know that a lot of people think that, um, I don't know, some of us find it easy to obtain the much sought after dolls. And that might be the case, but it also might just be um, a lot to do with the fact that a lot of us that have these really high end, much sought after dolls have just been around long enough or been around longer than others. And so opportunities tend to come our way because we are more known. We have a well-established reputation within the doll community. And that's, that's like gonna be the biggest key. Like I get this question asked all the time is where do, where do I find the doll? How do I get the doll, a doll like that? I, I don't think I'll ever be able to get a doll like that. I never see when they come up available. They're unattainable. Like I've heard it all. I get people that comment all sorts of different things on videos over the years, posts that I make in, you know, on Facebook. I just, I've heard it all. So what I want to stress to collectors new not new, <laughs> super seasoned. And I believe the super seasoned people will agree with me that your reputation really is everything in this hobby. And what do I mean by that is that it's your reputation in buying and selling. You know, when you come into the hobby, you, nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows if you could be a scammer. And that's so prevalent right now that people are very they're a little bit apprehensive to do business with someone they don't know versus someone that they know or have seen regularly over the years and have seen good positive feedback on different doll transactions. And that's making it very challenging for newer collectors that are less known to obtain the more high-end expensive dolls, even if they have the money ready and willing and able to pay for a very high-end doll. Many collectors even myself included, tend to want to sell to people that I know. It's a huge amount of money, and that's what we really have to look at here. I mean, this is thousands of dollars that we're talking about with these collectible items, and it's a huge risk to, to sell to somebody that you don't know or you're unfamiliar with or don't know their transaction past. It's scary, and most of us collectors that have been around not even, you don't even have to be around very long, but a lot of us have been scammed. A lot of us have been taken advantage of at one time or another. I've had, out of all the years I've collected, I have had one really, really bad experience with a scammer who ended up scamming a Romy Stridum, very expensive silicone doll, and that's been proven. That person tried to scam me and made my life miserable for months and it was the most awful experience and I didn't know this person so I didn't know 
what they were like. They reached out. They wanted to purchase a high-end silicone doll that I had. I wasn't even in the market to sell the doll. And they offered me a large sum of money to get me to sell the doll. And I did. <laughs> Worst mistake I ever made. Because this person made my life beyond a living hell because she was trying to get something for nothing and tried to tell me that I tried to tell everybody that I had scammed her and sent her a defective doll, which was never the case. So reason why I share this with you is because that was one of the most scary, stressful times in my whole 20 plus years of collecting. And I still think about it and it turns my stomach because people sided with this scammer, even, even well-known collectors who have a huge YouTube platform cited and tried to come after me to try to help her scam me. So it was a horrible, awful, the worst experience I've ever experienced. It forever has changed how I look at doing business in the doll hobby. And why I think it's important for you guys to know this is that when you're trying to buy a doll, especially if you're newer and less known, Collectors may have been through something similar. There's a lot of scams out there. We are scarred by these things. And so when someone may approach me and say, you know what, I really love your doll, she's beautiful. And believe me, I get a lot of people that approach me. I have a laundry list, a huge list of people that are interested in Monroe, if and when I decide to sell her. And I will be 100% honest with you. If I don't know who you are, I am less likely to want to sell my doll to you because of the risk that and the experience that I had in the past, especially when it could be international because this situation that happened to me was international and I it turned into just a, a huge ordeal of threats and things that, you know, were pretty crazy because I don't I don't know what the laws are in every other in any other country, you know, so it becomes a really huge, scary situation. So wanting to do business with the same collectors that are well known for buying the high end dolls, I think that's why you see that happening more, more so than not, because you trust and know that they've bought and sold many high end dolls. They know what they're getting. They know what to expect. They have great feedback and we know that they're trustworthy they're not going to scam us you know there's so many factors to why someone will choose someone that regularly is buying and selling high-end dolls it's the security of it and am I, i'm not saying that that's fair to the less known collectors that are trying to obtain these dolls i'm not saying it's fair at all but it's it's totally how things work. It really is. Most of my friends that have high-end dolls, they will, nine times out of ten, will sell to somebody that they know and take less money for a doll than to sell it to a stranger and risk that person scamming them and something happening. And that's the reality of where we're at because of the scammers. And as frustrating as that is for collectors that are less known, I get it. Trust me, I get it 100%. But for my own sanity's sake, someone's reputation and knowing their, their transaction history is huge to me. I don't want the hassle. I want everything to be happy. Like that situation that happened with me created not only the situation around the doll I sold, but the new doll I had coming in during that time frame. I had a very hard time bonding with the doll because of the negativity that was surrounding me at that time. It affected my whole world for a matter of months dealing with it and it ruined the new doll that came in and the doll's place that left and you know I don't want to go through that again and I know no collector that I know none of my friends none of my fellow collectors want to deal with something like that I would not wish it on my worst enemy and it, the sad thing is it happens. And the more that it happens, the less likely people will sell to unknowns. And so what I would recommend for those that are newer to the community is build up your reputation. It takes time. It took me years to become somewhat known in the community for being a trustworthy seller and buyer. You know, all these things are very important. And it started with $100 purchases, 
even if it's doll clothes purchases, people that start to rely on the fact that you come through and you follow through with all of your transactions speaks very loudly on building your reputation as a solid buyer slash seller in the doll community. It's very important to have you know that buildup of people that have known you and start to do business with you and more likely as time goes on, people will start doing higher, you know, higher amounts of money transactions with you more comfortably. And so that's why I wanted to share how important your reputation is in the doll community. You know, if if you really want to get a very much sought after doll and it's the more money, the more risk. So build it up. Take the time to, you know, understand that building your buyer seller reputation, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. I didn't start off buying $10,000 dolls. It took me many years to get to the point where I would spend a couple thousand dollars on a doll. And I had to do it through eBay, which we all know how stressful and awful that can be you know so we all have to start somewhere you have to build it from the ground up and then as people get to know you you will get the opportunities to acquire the doll you want I promise you that the opportunities come and I know it seems like it's hard to believe that you know if you're patient and if you're in the right place at the right time it's so true you guys I've had I've acquired some of the best most beautiful sought after dolls just by happening to be in the right place at the right time and someone letting me know that they were thinking about parting with a doll and I was like, hey, I'm interested. Usually at the most inopportune times when I least expect it is when I actually have found some of the best dolls I've ever had. And you have to learn to make a quick, very quick decision or else that, that seller is gonna move on to somebody else. So saving your money also very important. Make sure you have that money waiting so that once you hear of a doll that you want becoming available, you can hop on that and be the first one to say, I've got the full asking price. I'm ready to buy now. And that's also how I've stumbled into some really great dolls is that I've always had that dolly fund waiting so that when dolls became available, I could hop on those opportunities. You snooze, you lose. And that's very truthful in this hobby, especially now. There's so many collectors now. It's just so overwhelming. There's always someone else that's willing to buy the doll. So quick decisions are kind of a must. And even though it's a lot of money, you still have to decide in a pretty quick time frame and be confident that you know what you're buying. That takes years of learning about the dolls and who the best artists are and what you love. I mean, all of it plays a part in really being able to get that special doll home. And I just don't want people to get discouraged. I know it can be very discouraging. Trust me, I know. I've been on the other end of it. I started off once upon a time too and nobody knew who I was. And certain people didn't always sell to me when I wanted something. It happens. It happens to all of us. We've all been there. But if you build up your reputation, I think that's that's really key. I think that once you start building up some sort of reputation within the doll community, people will start selling to you more frequently. And then it'll just grow from there. And then you'll get that opportunity to get that really amazing doll that you've been eyeing for a long time. It definitely happens. <laughs> I assure you. So anyways, that's what I wanted to kind of chat about. I just want people to understand how important it is to really have a solid reputation, a really good buying and selling reputation in this hobby. It's key. It's key to people wanting to do business with you. And if you establish that, then you'll be all set. It'll happen for you. Just don't get discouraged. It just takes time. <laughs> so anyways, guys, there's little Monroe. She's wearing this really sweet jockety romper. It's a little sailor romper. It's so cute. And she's just got a pair of Carter's, um, I think they're cotton sandals. Yeah, little Carter's cotton sandals that are so cute that go with it and just a sweet little uh, blue bow headband. And that's what her outfit of the day is. And it's gorgeous here, so it's perfect for this beautiful summery weather that we're having. So I hope you all are having a great start to your weekend that should be happening soon, for most of you. Um, and we will see you all very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.